Sin is a fact of life. I know that's not such a popular concept in this day and age, but since when has popularity been an accurate determinant of the truth? Yep, sin is a fact of life. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. And if we want to improve ourselves, our lives, our relationships, to be a better person tomorrow than we are today, then we need to deal in the facts. There's sin that pops up in your thoughts and your actions that's no doubt different to mine, but we all have to deal with it. Sometimes we stumble and stumble and stumble, falling back into that same sin again and again. Other times we have a mighty fall crashing down to the ground. Either way, at some point, it's easy to come to the conclusion that we're never going to have victory over our sin. But that's a conclusion that we come to only when we forget that God is in this with us and he is going to get us there. How can we be certain of that? Here it is. I am sure that the good work that God began in you will continue until he completes it on the day when Jesus comes again. You and I, we can be absolutely sure of it because God is working in us. Here's how John Newton, the 18th century former slave trader, puts it. I am not the man I ought to be. I'm not the man I wish to be. And I am not the man I hope to be. But by the grace of God, I am not the man I used to be. Note to self, don't leave God out of the equation. That's his word, fresh for you today. Whatever you're dealing with, God's word is alive and active. It is the power to save you. It is the power to transform your life. So if you'd like to go a bit deeper, then stop by and explore ChristianityWorks.com where you'll find a wealth of messages on all sorts of different subjects straight out of God's word and conveniently arranged so that you can find exactly what you need for today. Again, that's all at ChristianityWorks.com. 